Our industry, the 3D construction printing industry, is constantly progressing. Cobot is well known for being the global leader of the industry. It's also well known that we and our customers are on the forefront of the technology. Therefore, from now on, every second week, we will share a short video interviews with one of our many global customers and their experience with using our technology. We hope that you will find these useful. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me uh, on this interview. I, uh, to answer your question, I've been a building contractor for more than 30 years. And during my entire career, there's really been very little innovation in, in the construction industry. I wanted to share a statistic I heard just the other day that in order for us to keep up with the world's increasing population, we have to build as many homes in the next 20 years as have been built in the last 2000 years. And there's just no way we can do that with the current state of uh, the construction industry. We have to uh, we have to automate, we have to implement new technologies to leverage that limited uh, labor pool um, while simultaneously creating an industry that's attractive to a younger generation to get into. So Emergent 3D was formed uh, after we had a major fire uh, in Northern California here. And the very first home we designed is called the Wildfire Restoration House. It's a 1200 square foot, three bedroom, two bath home that we had scrutinized and ultimately approved by the California, through the California building uh, codes. First uh, 3D printed home, actually on site printed home in the state of California was built right here in Redding. Uh, it is at a at one of the city parks and it'll be a park host. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom home that will probably house one person, but but they're okay with that. They they wanted uh, they wanted to step up and help us. And I, I really want to give, you know, gratitude to the leadership of the city of Reading. They took it upon themselves to do their part to try to try to help uh, bring not only bring this technology uh, you know, into the forefront, but uh, they, they're helping us work out uh, the details, helping us work out the logistics of this new, this new technology in a very old industry. And there are a lot of logistics to work out. So during our first print of that 1200 square foot house, we learned many lessons that we are now applying to our second print. We are in the middle, literally today, as we speak, we are finishing up the print of our second uh, 3D printed home. And it's the same exact home. We actually will be building that home uh, seven or maybe eight times just back to back, which I really appreciate. There are there are so many moving parts. There's so many logistical hurdles to overcome uh, in this uh, new way of doing things that removing one variable, you know, repeating the same house, building it over and over is really a nice uh, advantage uh, in our case. There's a lot of challenges within every aspect of this new method of construction. Um, we have a great deal of support uh, with our equipment through, you know, the good folks there at Cobot. We've got great support on the material side with Semex and others. Um, however, the way that the printed structure interfaces with all of the other trade, uh, the way we deal with the interface between the, the printed walls and the doors and windows to keep the weather out, to keep moisture out, these, these could be long-term uh, troubles that, that we face if we don't address them correctly right now. And so, you know, as you say, it, we really are transforming an industry and Fortunately, here at Emergent 3D and with Don and Jamie Construction as our general contractor, we're working with many well-experienced subcontractors and suppliers that are helping us to address those very real uh, logistical concerns that we've got. Well, I, I mean, clearly I'm betting on the fact that it's going to grow and I believe it really will because as, as I said earlier, the need is there. Uh, as more of us builders and more manufacturers enter the market, the competition is, is going to serve us well by improving our performance, our quality, our costs. Ultimately, we'd love to be able to save some money as we're building these things while we're building these really beautiful structures and, and leveraging our, our labor pool. 
we definitely need some, you know, we need to work on standardization. We need to work on quality control. Uh, but again, the inevitable competition is going to demand that, and that will come. I, I see that coming. Here at, at Emergent 3D, I don't see us as a 3D printing company. We're a construction technology implementation company, and uh, our problem is housing. And in my mind, the solution is automation. So today we're implementing 3D concrete printing. I, I see the future only bringing more automation to the industry. I, in fact, visited you know, Copenhagen spent a couple weeks and met much of the team and it only reinforced my my opinion of Cobot as the leader because the 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 comment that I left with, the thought that I left with when I left Copenhagen last year was that Cobot was not uh Cobot was not attracting the best and brightest of Denmark, but they were attracting the best and brightest of the world. And and I I, knowing that this is a new technology, knowing that we are venturing into areas that nobody's ever gone before, it's really quite assuring that we've got these highly intelligent people, these these very uh, insightful people that are on our on our side, and they're a phone call or an email away, and so that was quite comforting. And and surely I I would assume that other companies could probably say much of the same things, but. You know, Cobot has has been proving it. They're they're growing over the all over the world, and they have implemented more machines than anybody else. I think by far, I, I would imagine probably more than all the others combined. And so, I, I think the numbers tell the story. And 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 we know that even though I say we are a construction company, we're not an R and D company. We're not hobbyists. I, I know that. Uh, I know that this industry is in R&D. So whether I like it or not, we are in the R&D uh, phase of this industry, but but I could think of no better partner to to be in that level of uh, you know, forging this new industry than than Cobot.